Hey writers! Today we are going to begin our new unit of memoirs. So this is going to be a lesson basically on what is a memoir and how you can get started um, thinking and creating your memoir. We are going to go through this whole process, this whole unit together step by step, so please don't ever think like, ah, I don't know how to write a memoir. This is the lesson that's going to teach you. Are you ready? Let's go. in that video, a memoir can take any form of writing. It could be a diary or a journal, a small moment. It could look like a poem. It could read more like an autobiography. It could be an opinion essay. And actually, it could really be a combination of all those types of writings or a combination of two of them. It's author's choice, whatever fits your story that you're telling. And since the video also talked about milestones. There is a milestone that you all share together. It is the milestone of transitioning from one grade to another and transitioning from elementary school to middle school. Whether you're gonna to go to Larson next year or a different middle school, this is a transition you share together. It's a milestone. So let's talk more about that. This memoir is going to be a celebration of this milestone, this transition to middle school, we're gonna capture your Costello memories into a memoir. So the goal again is to tell your story in any form of writing that feels comfortable and it makes sense to you. Now, my Costello journey takes place over nine years. Your Costello story might be a lot shorter. It could be five years, three years, one, or maybe even it's just a few months but it is your Costello story to tell. Two students from each class will read their memoir at the fifth grade celebration. Now, I know the celebration this year is going to look a little different. We are working out those plans, but please be prepared that two of you, four of you actually, two from my class and two from Mr. McKinney's class are going to be chosen to read their memoir, whether it's virtually or in person. Please be in person. Let's continue. So today what I wanna teach you is that anytime that we start a big writing project, it really helps to take the time to really read over work that is the sort of thing that you plan to make. You know, kind of like when you're gonna make a puzzle, you look at the box lid and see what that picture looks like. It helps to think about how all the pieces are going to fit together as a whole. So, we can notice different parts of a story. 
or sorry, can we notice the different types of elements in this story? You should all be familiar with the story 11 by Sandra Cisneros. Again, I don't know if I said her name right. Um, I'm not gonna read the whole story, but instead I'm gonna focus on this first part of this page. Um, for the sake of time of the video, I'm not actually going to read this whole page. You can read it, but I wanna point out that the beginning of this um, essay, if you'll notice, it starts off like it's an essay about being 11. It's teaching you what 11 is. And then where it says five, it starts to turn into a very long personal narrative. You could go ahead and read this on your own and see if you notice that same thing. I have created a, a list of resources I'll get to in a minute. I'm thinking you could go on a scavenger hunt. I wonder if you could find these elements that the video talked about, that this anchor chart talks about. See if you can notice these items or one or two of them in the mentor text that you read today. So for workshop time today, remember workshop is typically about an hour. Um, so don't do all this work in five minutes. Sit down, spread your workout, take your time. I want you to read examples of memoir texts that I'm going to share with you. While you're doing that, ask yourself, how does this memoir go? And how do memoirs usually tend to go? Then you can collect stories from your time at Costello. And here you can see there are two anchor charts here that um, you should be familiar with. This, for, this one over here is from fourth grade. This is a chart that you created to generate essay entries. And here's some ideas on generating some personal narratives. You may have an idea on how you want your memoir to look. That's fine, but go ahead and try to create lists that look like, that have elements on both of these. And you can always come back to this slide later when you need to on your workshop time. So I mentioned there's some online resources. I created a Padlet for you. You can either scan this barcode or click on this link here to see a list of those resources. All right, good luck writing today. I cannot wait to see what work you produce. You do not have to start writing today, but if you wish, go for it and post those pictures to Seesaw.